If there's any good news coming out of the fires this morning, as the Detroit arson investigators confirm, they have a person of interest in custody. And this is the man being walked to a waiting DPD cruiser from an arson investigator's truck. A man fire crews tell me was seen at every fire they were at this morning, including this one at Lance and Charleston in Detroit, the home here, vacant, but still firefighters tackled it defensively, pouring water on it from overhead. The fire spewing embers into the morning sky some 50 feet high. The power lines proving no match for the heat of the fire, falling down the ground arcing. At the same time firefighters were battling that fire, this two alarm blaze at the corner of John R. and Brentwood. We caught up with crews hours later as they made their second trip to the scene, putting out hot spots. One block over on Hollywood, another fire that would bring out firefighters not once, but twice because of hot spots that remain. Then this one later in the morning on Robinwood, just off Woodward, the scene where arson investigators would take a person of interest into custody, someone they believe may be behind this morning's fires and the countless other fires set in the last three weeks. It goes without saying, if you saw anything or have any information that can help the Detroit Arson Squad out or help investigators in this case, you're urged to call Crime Stoppers at 1-800-SPEAK-UP or the Detroit Fire Department. Reporting for Detroit's Northeast Side, Nima Shafe, 7 Action News.